Today we're gonna make an explosive gas. Let's get started. <laughs> The explosive gas we're gonna be using today is HHO. It can be easily made through an HHO generator. I'm gonna to need to 3D design this, and then once we're done 3D designing it, we'll head over to the printer, print it out, and we'll be ready to go. Parts had finished here. Um, you got the main body of the hydrogen generator right here. It's got slots in it, so we can put some metal in there. And the top half, the top half still has its brim. The two pieces fit together beautifully, just like we designed them. So now all we gotta do is build the metal pieces that will go in here. Uh, the metal that we're gonna use in here is stainless steel, basically because it's very resistant to water. Um, and it conducts electricity, which is the two things that are so important for a hydrogen generator. There are 13 plates, each different lengths, so I'm going to have to cut those out and put those in there. I'm gonna put one in the center and two on the outside, which will be positive and negative. So let's go ahead and get started with that process. Um, so it's a little late, so I'm gonna go ahead and probably head off to bed here, but I got a chunk of them done, but I'm really liking that. Really nice, and this will go right on top. All right, so I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, see you in the morning. Right, so I finished it. Um, I got all the plates in there. Each of them are done. I scraped them up so they have more surface area. All we need to do is somehow solder the wires to these clips um, that I made for the outside of some of these. I'm gonna take a propane torch here, heat up the ends of them, and then see if I can't put some solder on there and bond it right to the end. All right, so that did not work. I'm gonna try to copper plate these now and try to solder to the copper opposed to trying to, to solder to this. There we go, they're copper coated. So now all I'm gonna do is uh, solder the wires to them. So I'm gonna have to be careful soldering the wires to this because the copper could melt off. It's thin enough that I think I could actually accidentally melt it off, which we don't want to do exactly. We want to try to keep it on there if we can. This is soldered on there. Very, very nice. I don't think I really needed to copper plate it at all. I was actually looking at this, and I don't think I do because it actually melted the copper away. Interesting. All right, so I got all that done. Uh, that was pretty tricky and also very fun. Let's go ahead and put these in, just like this. Let's run our wires. Boom, just like that. There's our wires coming out of our hydrogen generator. So now all what's left to do is to uh, glue this gap around the edge here so that it seals. And I'm gonna seal around these wires too, I think. We'll let those cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the distilled water to put in here. You could probably use regular water. The thing about using regular water though is you have impurities like salts and other things in the regular water. All right, so I got some water in there. So now I'm gonna put a balloon on there and we're gonna try to fill up the balloon. All right, there we go. Boom, fits perfectly on there. All right, we're gonna fill this balloon up with HHO gas. Let's do it. Oh, that's so cool. That's very cool. All right, I was just gonna let it run and hopefully fill up the balloon. Okay, this is legitly taking forever. We can put white vinegar in it um, and that will help increase the yield of it. Um, I'm gonna pull the balloon off now as it is. It's not very full, but at least we have some hydrogen in it. Boom. I think we need to put a match up to it. <laughs> Man, that's ear ringing. Wow. I guess that's how you make HHO gas. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you next week.